So now that you know basic Boolean techniques, you can now build what's called a complex Boolean query. Or said another way, hey Google, find exactly what I'm looking for the first time every time. In this example, I'm looking for decision makers at a software company called Lawson Software. So Google, every result you deliver must have the phrase Lawson Software in it. It must have the word Minnesota in it, and it must have the phrase Vice President or the word Director. Now I'm using parentheses. You don't really need to because Google's going to ignore the parentheses, but I remember from high school algebra, it kind of helps me think when I'm separating things out. So again, Google, every result you deliver must have the phrase Lawson Software, the word Minnesota, the phrase Vice President, or the word Director, and I get some pretty good results. Now here's where the art of searching shows up. So kind of eyeball the results. What am I not interested in? not interested in the word jobs or job. See, I'm not wanting job opportunities. I want job titles, names of decision makers. So based on what you've learned in basic Boolean, what should I do? That's right. You go right back up, add minus jobs into that query, and now every result will have job titles, the exact thing that I'm looking for. The phrase loss in software, the word Minnesota, the phrase vice president, or the word director. But if any of those results have the word jobs in it, I don't want to see that one. Google delivers me exactly what I want the first time every time. Mm -hmm.